Hello everyone, welcome back. Well, Daisy and Molly are just eating their foodies and hopefully they'll be going outside shortly to do their business. Well, at the moment, some of you may know that I'm using the iRobot Roomba as my vacuum of the month. So I've been just pressing a button and walking away and Roomba has been cleaning all my carpets and floors. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I was foolish enough to leave Roomba running in my living room with Daisy. And Daisy, instead of going outside, she decided to leave a little present on the carpet. Can you guess what happened? Yes, Roomba found that present, didn't realise that he shouldn't have gone over it, but yes, Roomba ran over Daisy's present and a lot of Daisy's present got caught up in the wheels of Roomba and Roomba spread some of Daisy's present all over the carpet and it took me about an hour to clean up Daisy's present from Roomba. So I, I wasn't very happy with Daisy that day. I didn't tell her off, couldn't really, but it did take me quite a while to clean up Roomba. But anyway, I won't make that mistake again. Never leave Roomba unattended with a naughty doggy. Okay, well, I'll continue with the shout outs, but I'll just have to let them in now because I think they've just been outside. Okay, right. So the dogs have been fed, so hopefully they'll be good and not disturb the rest of the video, especially that little Daisy. Yes, yeah, oh Daisy, you are naughty. Okay, right, where were we up to? I think the last little vacuum fan we spoke to was Jake. So, on from Jake. We have another shout out, another three year old called Edward. Did you know Edward? Hello Edward. You can get a pneumatic Edward vacuum. Perhaps I shouldn't have said that. Depends where your mummy lives, whether she can get one. They're not very common, even in this country, but they do in Edward. So Edward, who's three, loves my vacuum cleaner videos. He was scared of the sound of our vacuum cleaner and I think that grew into a fascination with them. He has a toy Henry and a toy Dyson. So hello, Edward. Yes, a lot of little boys were scared of the vacuum, but once you sort of have a look at it properly and see it working, if your mummy or daddy explains things to you and says, well, it makes this noise because it's angry at the dirt. He wants to pick it all up. I was a bit scared because I'm that old. Vacuum cleaners with a, a big headlight on them and a big bag at the back that expanded when it switched on. It was like it was a monster going Whoa! And that, that can be a bit, oh, I was scared myself there. That can be a bit frightening, can't it? But once, you, once you're big enough to actually use the vacuum, you're in control of that monster sucking up the dirt. Then it's no longer scary. I used to have um, lots of toy vacuums, just like you. I mean, at the moment, most Boys and girls have the toy Henrys and Dysons, but I had little toy Hoover vacuums and they were shaped like the Hoover Seniors and Hoover Juniors. And I didn't um, have a teddy bear. I used to take those to bed and cuddle those in bed. Yes, I don't know. Probably like a lot of you, I'm sure a lot of you take your plush because at least now you've got nice, you've got nice soft, soft ones to cuddle. They're much nicer to cuddle in bed than metal and plastic toy vacuums that I cuddled. I probably would have had these. If these were available when I was growing up, I would have had one of these too. But even though I'm quite grown up now, I still, I still have the little plush Hetties and Henrys. Hello, right, we've got another little vacuum fan from Baltimore, Maryland, US of A. This is Oliver, hello Oliver and you've just turned seven years old. And he has loved vacuums as long as we can remember, says his mummy, or his mom. He watches, um, Oliver watches my channel whenever he gets a chance. He loves Dyson's and is saving to buy the Quantum Vac. Oh, I wonder what that one is, I'll have to look that up. Sounds impressive, Quantum, Quantum Vac. Thank you for bringing him joy and happy holidays. Well, it's a pleasure. So hello, Oliver, with your little collection. From what I can see, we've got a Dyson there. That's a Eureka, you've got a, re a Eureka upright. I think that's a little Bissell on the end. Or oh, you've got one of those, a Hoover 
that's like the commercial version of the uh, Vax Lynx cordless uh, unplugged. And just in your hand, that looks like a Hoover Double Duty. So that's a nice little collection. I bet you keep your house spick and span, don't you? Let's have a look. Now, oh, we're back to the UK, not too far from me. Max, who's four, lives in Doncaster, which is in South Yorkshire. I live in West Yorkshire, so not, not far at all. I've been to Doncaster as well, I know where it is. So hello Max, Max loves my comparison videos and is mad on pneumatic, who isn't? Santa has pinched, oh, Santa has pinched Mrs. Glass. Oh no, I can't say what, no, sorry. I don't know, I'm not giving the game away, but I know Santa's got something very nice for you. I'm not reading it out, oh dear. But I think you'll enjoy what Santa's bringing you. Well, you've been, oh, you're, uh, and you're only getting this particular thing from Santa because you've been a good boy. So that's a lesson for everyone watching. Be good boys and girls and Santa brings you what you like. <laughs> well, I thought that would be the case. It says here that uh, your mummy and daddy love that you love to clean up all the time. Well, what mummy and daddy wouldn't love a son or daughter that enjoys cleaning up? Because I think most mummies and daddies have sons and daughters that like to make a mess. So to have a son or daughter that likes to clean up, what, what a godsend. You don't even have to pay for a cleaner. <laughs> but if you enjoy cleaning, that's great. That's fantastic. So hello, Max from Doncaster, South Yorkshire. Well, we've got two vacuum fans. What's it like having two vacuum fanatics in the family? So here's a picture of Oliver, who's seven, and Harry, who's four. They both love watching my videos, especially Oliver, who checks for new updates daily. Well, you've had, you've had, a, new, you've had a new video daily, haven't you, for the Advent series? A shout out would mean the world to him. He even makes his very own YouTube videos, which he copies the exact way you present yours. Oh, don't copy mine, I'm no good. Bring out your own style, that's the thing to do. Anyway, they always say that, uh, what, what's that saying about not copying? Imitation, that's it, there's a saying. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. I think I've got that right, so I am flattered that you like to copy my videos, but one day, you'll think, nah, I don't want to copy him anymore. He's old hat, I'm going to do something different. But whatever you do, have fun. Let's go. Oh, wow. Both of you, Oliver and Harry, you're hoping for a Dyson V10 for Christmas, a real one. Oh, I hope you get one, but they're a lot of money. I don't think even Santa can afford those, you know. Don't be too disappointed if you don't get one. But you know, if you wish very hard enough, and if you're very, very good next year, if Santa doesn't bring you one this year, perhaps he'll have enough time to save up for one, to give you one next year, or possibly your birthdays. But only if you're very good, of course. And there's a picture of you both. And again, look, you like your pneumatics. There's a Henry and Hetty there, in front of your lovely Christmas tree. So happy Christmas to you too. And this one, this little boy here, you can hardly see him, can you, behind all those Dysons wrapped in plastic? This is Beck. Hello, Beck. You're outside a vacuum repair shop, which you love going into in Northumberland Heath, Kent, and you're nine years old. He's, he's always loved all types of vacuums, and he loves watching my videos, and his favorite cleaner is Roomba. He sets a timer to clean his bedroom floor every day with a similar cheaper version for Maplin. Well, I hope you've no pets, have you? Because I daren't set my timer on my room, but not with that naughty daisy. I'm not going to go through what I had to go through cleaning that. Well, I won't say in case some of you are eating, but it wasn't very nice. <laughs> so anyway, wow, look at all those Dysons. I wonder how much they are. I bet they know you very well in that vacuum repair shop. Yeah, you, you never know, you might get a job there one day, even a Saturday job earning some pocket money. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Happy Christmas to you, Beck. Here's another, let's see. Oh, this is a shout out to Alexander, who is nearly four. 
and another total pneumatic fan. So I hope you enjoy looking at these. You have Hetty and Henry toys as well as a big Hetty 200A. And he tells everyone at his nursery stories about Hetty all the time. I bet Hetty gets up to all sorts of uh, adventures. And Alexander loves my videos and hopes for a Kasdan Henry as well as a real one with a parking bracket. You must have the parking bracket. Yes, very important. Oh dear, Daisy is causing a lot of trouble. Oh, I know why. You know what it is, folks. She's whining because I've got these out. She's already eaten my poor dancing Dachshund and she's had a nibble of my elf on a shelf and she wants Hetty. You can't have Hetty Daisy because Hetty doesn't want to be chewed up. I'm going to put Hetty higher up on top of Henry Allergy there. Don't fall off Hetty because if you do, your nose is liable to get chewed off. Anyway, yes, well I hope you do get a real a Henry with a parking bracket, Alexander. Happy Christmas. Let's have a look. And another little boy. Oh, we've got another picture here. Oh, this is this, this is actually Alexander here, sorry. We can see Alexander's, the back of Alexander's head watching some fat man on the television unboxing something. That tree, that Christmas tree looks familiar in that video you're watching. Is that, is that me? Hang on. He's got the same jumper on as me. I think that could be me you're watching there. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy watching watching my videos. So happy Christmas to you, Alexander. Now this little boy here, again, look, a pneumatic fan. He's got a desk Henry by the looks, because that looks smaller than a, a toy Henry. That looks like the desk Henry. This is Jeffrey. Hello, Jeffrey. Jeffrey would love a shout out. He loves all vacuums, but Henry and his family are his favorites. Well, I, that's very common, isn't it? A lot of you love Henry and all his family. And why not? They are very lovely. Oh, look at that picture. You're very pleased. You've got a Henry extra. You got a Henry extra for your fifth birthday last August. Oh. You're very pleased to see Henry, aren't you? And Henry's pleased to see you. I bet you can't wait to get cleaning. That's fantastic. Very lucky boy. I wonder if you're getting anything like that for Christmas. That'd be brilliant. Anyway, happy Christmas. Happy Christmas to you, Geoffrey. Okay, how many more? We've got loads and loads to get through. Well, I thought we only had one girl, but there's another little girl here. This is Elsie. Oh, it's a lovely name. I'm getting all, all, wet, all getting all emotional. This is Elsie, and she's three and lives in Cornwall. That's a long way from me, Elsie. <laughs> she has watched my videos for over a year and has already got her own real Henry and Hetty Hoover and a Kasha. Uh, all presents she has got. Oh, she is me. She's me in the female. She's the female version of me. Well, wish I had as much hair as that. <laughs> we watch your videos every morning and night, and she loves your Christmas videos and Hoover of the Month. Her favourite current review is Henry Allergy. Oh, well, there he is. Oops. Well, I think you'll like tomorrow's video, Elsie. Ooh, watch out! Watch out! To watch out for tomorrow's video, Henry Hound. Oh, <gasps> well. He's very impressive. Just wait for that. You'll love it, I think. That might become your new favourite. Right. She takes her hoovers to nursery to show and tell, to show and tell now and then, and immediately checks out the cleaning equipment anywhere we visit, just like I was saying earlier. Wherever you go where there may be a vacuum lurking, you'll find it, won't you? That's what I did. I still do. And do you notice them? on uh, television programs, if you're watching a TV program and somebody's vacuuming, even if you're not looking at the television and you hear a vacuum, you're straight looking at the telly and you say, that's a Hoover Toro Power, or that's a Henry, or that's a so-and-so, and you know just by the handle or the noise it makes. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> and then look at this picture. Is that at your nursery? I think it is, isn't it? Oh, your, your, your play centre there, look. We have to visit it, oh, they're not your, you have to visit the play centre just to see the Hoovers. Well, I'm all sure they're pleased to see you, Elsie. 
<laughs> Roger, you are part of our family and we have never met you. But Elsie would be thrilled to be in your video. Merry Christmas to you, your mama and doggies. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas to you too and to you, Elsie, aged three from Cornwall. Again, hopefully Santa will bring you something vacuum related or even Henry related. So, oh, another little bit we've got here. <laughs> Elsie also has balls, cups, Bulls cups, screen, what's bulls? I don't know what that is, Sarah, Sarah Jane. She also has bulls cups, screen cleaner, toy Henry, Hetty and Dyson's and makes her own Henry Hoover unboxing video on her third birthday on YouTube. What are bulls cups? You'll have comments underneath the video. I don't know what you mean by that. I know what you mean by screen cleaner. I've got one somewhere, I think, uh, a chap called Mr. Rusty Skull bought me one for Christmas. It's on one of my Christmas Day unboxing videos, I'm sure. Okay, we've got a little boy here now called Cole and pictured here with his first Henry vacuum, a toy Henry. And he was two in that picture and is now five. And your collection, oh, you've got two dozen now. Only five and you've got two dozen real and toy vacuums. Well, I never had that many vacuums when I was five. I might have had one or two if I was lucky. Whew. What a lucky boy you are, Cole. And Cole watches my videos daily. And there he is, happily playing with his little toy, Henry. Next little boy. He's 13. Let's have a look. What's his name? Oh, dear. <laughs> well, I don't think... I can't see your name. I'll read it out. Anyway, here's a picture of you so you know who you are. Here is my 13 year old son who has loved vacuums and shampoos since he could walk. He would love a shout out from you since he loves all your videos and is a true fan. He loves the high quality vacuums and would love to have a collection like yours one day. Well, I'm sorry, I don't know, I don't know your name, but your, your mom's called Alexandra. But anyway, you know who you are because that's you. <laughs> sorry about that. Yes, definitely. No name here, but here's your picture. Let's zoom in. You've got one of those Bissell big green carpet washers. We've got a shark sonic duo. There's a shark rocket stick. Well, that looks like a Vax to me, but if you're in America, which I assume you are, that will be a Hoover Air, won't it? And I'm not sure what that one on the, on the other end is with that funny shape. I'm not sure if it's a Bissell. Oh, and you've got a little Bissell at the bottom. Just see it just near the Christmas tree there. Is that a little stain eraser? No, not a stain eraser. Pet hair eraser handheld, is it? I'm not sure. So that's a lovely little collection. Sorry I couldn't shout your name out, but you know who you are because that's you on the screen. Happy Christmas to you. Now then, I don't think we've got a picture, but this is a shout. Oh, well. This is for Jacob, who's five, and he lives in Huddersfield, which is very close to me. So I do know where Huddersfield is. I've been to Huddersfield quite a lot. Not recently, but uh, yeah, been to Huddersfield. I've been to the, uh, is it Comet they had in Huddersfield? Yes, it was. I used to go to Comet in Huddersfield a lot before it closed. I think there's a Curry's PC World in Huddersfield as well. But I always remember going to Comet and parking in that big car park because there was lots of shops around there, wasn't there? Was there a and q there as well? And then some other shops and there was an Argos. I wonder what's there now instead of Comet. Perhaps it's just empty. Anyway, hello Jacob from Huddersfield. He's watched my channel for years. Your favourite is Henry Extra and he has his own full-sized Henry, I assume, plus many toy Henry and Hetty's, right down to the desktop Vax too. He would love a shout out. We particularly love the Christmas Day opening of Presents Vids. Well, there'll be one coming up on Christmas Day. I've been very lucky to get some nice things sent to me. Plus, I think Santa might be bringing me some vacuums. Fingers crossed. I think I've been a good boy. Anyway, hello, Jacob from Huddersfield. Another one here, no picture. But uh, this is a shout out for a little three year old, Edward. Oh, right, I was, I was scanning for a name. Hello, Edward. My three year old son is your biggest fan. We watch a couple of your videos on YouTube every night before bed. I'd really love it if you could wish him happy birthday and Merry Christmas. 
Happy birthday and Merry Christmas, Edward. Oh, you was oh you were three last week. I hope you got a nice uh, present. Um, so that's lucky, isn't it? You got your birthday, and then you got Christmas to look forward to. Lots of lots of treats, I expect. So I hope you had a nice birthday, Edward. Thank you so much for all your wonderful videos. We really enjoy watching them together. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. That's some um, Edward's mummy, I think, Lauren. So happy Christmas, Edward. Hope Santa brings you something very nice. Lots of nice, I'm sure you get lots of nice things. Here, we've got two little vacuum fans. And again, look, somebody's very lucky to have a new Henry allergy. We've got Elijah, who's four. He's a little boy looking, I don't know what he's looking at. Perhaps he's looking at vacuums, looking at a magazine or something there. So Elijah is four and Isaac is one. <laughs> Mummy's best little helpers. Elijah is a great big brother to Isaac and reads him lots of Henry's stories. Ah, oh, bless. So looks like, looks like Elijah is teaching Isaac to like vacuums. It's going to be very expensive in your household as they get older because they'll want, they'll want bigger and better vacuums for Christmas. Well, for a few years, Santa will be providing them, so you'll be okay. But anyway, that's lovely. And it looks like, because you're mummy's best little helpers, I expect you help out with the cleaning, don't you? Using that lovely new Henry allergy that's the same as my one. Happy Christmas to everyone there. Okay. Oh, we've got a boy here from the Scottish borders from... I've probably pronounced this wrong. Haywick, is that in the Scottish Borders? He watches me, or here's a picture anyway. Uh, did I? He watches me all the time, and to be honest, when I hear your voice, I think he could impersonate, I could impersonate, oh, this is his mummy, Sharon, thinks she could impersonate me now. Um, oh, he's messaged me before. He has a Henry, a Dyson, a Hetty, a Mila, and everyone on eBay you can think of eBay? Hmm. He was laughing last year at your Barbie present. He would love a shout out. Is oh, you've not... No, you've not given me... You've not told me your little boy's name. Have you? No. You've told me where your little boy's from. Sorry. Anyway, this is your little boy. You, you know who you are, so... <laughs> Happy Christmas to you all. Oh, dear. Oh... Now, I'm just going to have to see how many more I've got. I don't really want to go on to three videos, but, ooh, heck. I am, I'm sorry about this. I don't know how long I've been going on for. I didn't realise. It's a lot more than last year. Dear me, I want to make sure I get everyone in, though. So, again, I'll take a little break, because I need to, you know, visit the little boys' room, perhaps have a drink. So you can have a break from uh, watching this as well. So I will upload part three. Oh dear. Very soon. Today. Won't be long for you to wait. So if you're still waiting. Sorry you've had to wait through this video. Fingers crossed you'll be the next one. I shout out in part three. See you all very soon. Bye for now.